How's everyone doing? Um, this is for um, I forget who it was comment on my video asking why I have the turn valve on with the three point. Um, I'm here more to uh, explain why. Uh, when you get one of these front blades, you gotta think your uh, angling runs your back cylinder, which runs a three point. We're going. We'll go back through. So your up and down is your bottom lever, which only runs the two valves on the side, which I got a rear, rear hydraulic remote. It runs that and it runs this. It actually just runs the two bottom, two top, I, don't th I think it's the top two uh, valves, like top two up, runs that, which you can run that or run up front. What that's for. Um, so that's your, uh, that's your up and down with float, no problem there. Then when you buy the hitch, you buy this hitch with the, when you buy the hitch with the, angling you get a little valve that's about a hundred hundred dollar valve with it when you buy your plow setup and you put this on it allows you to angle this blade fast if you lock it but if you don't have the other part which i'm going to show you it's still going to be slow we'll and we'll show what i'm talking about so let's get that back garage is messed still so you got your front your hydraulics come back let me get down here. I don't know how good you guys can see. So I'll turn. Let's see. This valve will open this. By opening this, you're letting hydraulic flow go to the back of the tractor. We're going to open it all the way. So now that's open, let's start the tractor. I already had it running, so. We're good. Don't mind the coolant. That's for the video you guys can see before this one. For this, see how slow that is? It hurts going this way. So as it hits halfway, it catches. Now when you're going this way, see how slow it is? If you don't have that value, your blade's gonna be like this all winter. We're going to angle that all the way. So that's angled all the way. Shut the tractor off. The three point. Now this is another very important piece. If you can see it, this. It locks your three point up. It keeps the three point up. Now, say you have this down, which yeah, I need to lift the cylinder the other way. Yeah, that down, this is gonna be an up and down. When that when your blade angles, the problem I was having why I put that on was it was slow. This was still dropping up and down when I locked the valve. So for thirty dollars, I went and picked up the part from rig manufacturing. It locks a three point up. It will not lower, even if I had the mower deck on. This three point will stay up the whole time, which that's the point where I was needing. I should have had this part put on a long time ago. But back to it. Now that's locked, you lock that, we'll show what happens, but if you have don't have that and you lock the valve, this will still go up and down. That's why I went and picked that up for $30 from the man himself. Come back up here, get back under here, you lock your valve. I can't see under there. There. We need the pressure. Turn that all the way in. It's so cold. Turn that. Keep turning. It gets tight. That's tight. Come back up to your tractor. Now, when you go to angle the blade, So that's why it does that i hope that guy i hope that helps you guys understand why you need that valve and why you need to lock out for the three point but have a good night guys